I've got permanent members of staff based in different continents that oversee the teams in those areas. We've got a small internal team of about 11, 12 people, but they're based globally and they are permanent members of staff. In the UK, we've got about six people here and they're generally heads of different divisions, heads of design, heads of development, etc. And then those people that are out of the UK, they do the recruitment for those areas. We have monthly catch-ups, so we know what's going on in the business, the senior team. From a cultural point of view, it really starts becoming difficult as soon as you hit 10 people, how you maintain that. And the easiest way that I found with the team is I let them build their own culture in their areas. I've got David who's running the US area of freelancers and projects, etc. I work with him and I support him to build the culture for the teams out in that area. And then every six months, I bring all the senior team down to London so we can do internal sessions as well. So we're all aligned in our mission and goals. But on a whole, it's all about giving back the trust to my team so that they can actually lead.